So right now we're walking through Barrio de Zanenetla, which is a barrio, a neighbourhood of Puebla, which is known for having incredible street art everywhere you go. And literally every wall you can see at the moment, it's just got street art everywhere. And it's really unique, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're right here. Yeah, we should probably look up the history of this place because there's got to be a reason for for why they like this street out so much. Yeah, it looks a bit sketchy around here, but I think we should be alright, isn't it? Okay. Let's have a look. Lucy loves them beetles. And a little fact for you. Um, here in Puebla they have the biggest Volkswagen factory in the entire world which isn't in Germany and they produced over 1.7 million Volkswagen Beetles over the years and that's why there's so many over Mexico which and we didn't realise until which we didn't realize, yeah. came here because in Mexico they're everywhere aren't they? yeah they're everywhere um, everyone but yeah them. they were made right here in Puebla and we actually went past the factory on the yesterday. bus from Mexico City to Puebla yesterday didn't we? Yeah. And it was massive, wasn't it? It is huge. Guys of rages. Yeah. Oh yeah, a little factory there. <laughs> anyway, some guys doing some paintings up here. Let's go have a look. Yeah, we, we met someone in Mexico City and they said that Puebla has the most churches per square mile in the entire world. And we've seen quite a few, I suppose, since we've been here, but I haven't really noticed there being on every corner. We'll have to fact check that. <laughs> we have to fact check that one, yeah, but that's what we've been told. Yeah, there's people doing paintings on all the walls here, it's pretty cool. Sort of, uh, if you've ever been to Bratislava, there's a church called the Blue Church there. Oh, yeah. And it's quite similar to that, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, like on a smaller scale, but. It's quite similar, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's keep walking. Well, that is. Oh, look at this. This is cool, isn't it? Down on the side oh, yeah, little side street. I suppose if you lived here, you could probably just paint on your walls of your house, couldn't you? <laughs> Whatever you wanted. Do a That's big cool. Crystal Palace badge on mine. No. Buenas <laughs> tardes. Buenas tardes. Libre, you like that, don't you? Hola. <laughs> Hola. Hola. If I could paint something, I'd paint me. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> On the outside of your house, Luce. No, no, just on the outside of someone's random house here. Oh, I see. <laughs> just me, so I'm you, always remembered. You should ask to have a go, Luce, you're a good artist. No. You should ask, no. well, give me the brush. No. Do you want to go down this little side street and see what's up? Sure. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we're doing what they don't recommend to do here, we're going down some uh, little alleyway. Here in uh, what, what's this place called? Zanatella. Is that Zanatella? <laughs> Apologies, gone out of my head. It's very hard to pronounce. Well, where does it take us then? The back streets of uh, Zana. I've written down how you pronounce it because it's a really complex word. It always throws me off. I know. Zanatella. Uh, is that Zanatella? Is I it? don't know. Because I know in Spanish X's are pronounced as sort of Z's. But it always throws oh, me off. No, Zanin, Zananetla, Zananetla. Zananetla. There we go, Zananetla. The back streets of Zananetla here. It's very different. Quite quiet down this street. Yeah, We're going to continue. Oh, there's not dodgy, there's no one here. 
Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, thorns. Why is that? Because it means bitch or a prostitute. <laughs> it does, yeah. It means a lot of rude things in Spanish, doesn't it? You've got to be careful when you say that word and who you say it around, don't you? Mm -hmm. Especially, uh... We are puta skiri. No, puta skiri. <laughs> What's that? Fucking Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't mentioned, like, here in Puebla, it's very European, isn't it? Yeah. Well, and, uh... I think it's... I mean, we have to fact check this as well, but I think it was built specifically for the Spanish so yeah. that came and, here. And they called it the first perfect city, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Um, but also the French took over for about five or ten years, I think, here and in Mexico. And yeah. there's a lot of French sort of culture. There's lamp posts, which are very French. Yeah. And restaurants they have down in uh, downtown near the cathedral. They've got a lot of very French-looking places there. And all the roads are perfectly straight. They are, aren't they? Absolutely perfectly straight. Actually, round here is probably the first place we've been in Puebla where the streets aren't straight, 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 all in rectangles. So I think we're coming to the end of the uh, barrio of Zanadetla now. What do you think, Luce? It's good. It's good if you need some inspiration or you, you like street art and stuff like that. Absolutely, yeah. If you're an artist and you want some inspiration, why not get a flight here to Puebla in Mexico and come to the barrio of Zanadetla? Just this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just come here if you want some inspiration, why not? Just this place and then leave. Yeah, like if you want a, like a long <laughs> sea snake. There's your inspiration. Is that not called an eel? Oh, it might be an eel. <laughs> might be a I don't know what the fuck that is, but it's got like a dinosaur looking face. Have you seen that film Dinosaur? Looks like the main character in that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, very nice neighbourhood. Definitely if you're in Puebla, I recommend coming down here. Not too much to do, but there's a lot to see. As we said before, if you like street art or that sort of thing, really cool place to come. It's very unique. We've never really been to a place like this, have we? No. Can't imagine something like this in England. I know, yeah. Maybe in Lisbon or Barcelona yeah, or somewhere Barcelona, like that in they Europe. They have a lot of graffiti and street art, but yeah, it's amazing really. People living in their houses and painting on the outside of them. It's really cool. We have to look up the history of it when we get back, won't we? What would you paint on your house? Big Crystal Palace badge. I knew you would. Yeah. As I said before. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching. This has been Barrio de Zanaretla, which we highly recommend visiting. Very beautiful. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Yeah, see you later. Thank you.